Okay, at the Circle Tower, we have managed to get the aid of the mages of the Circle to both help fight the Darkspawn and to return to Redcliffe Castle to go and save the boy, Connor, who had been possessed by a demon. So now we're going to head back there and see if we can take care of this thing. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know but they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Will you stop eating? Rush them and spring your own ambush for a change. That sounds like a good idea. More enemies ahead. Always being jumped. Chumps don't stand a chance. Chumps didn't have a chance. Is there an enemy left alive or what? I guess so. They're running off to kill someone. Got level ups with Alistair and Wynn. Provided all the enemies are dead. It is begun. I guess they're not. Jeez, who's still out there? It's irritating. Oh, I can see him on the mini-map. Nice. What? Oh, come on. Didn't even know I was here. Jumps. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Multiple chests. Hmm? I shall. Could you sound any less enthused about the prospect of breaking in something? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Um, Alistair's set to auto level. Nah. Well, let's move on.
returned to Redcliffe Castle and the mages are on their way and they will assist us in killing the demon off inside the child. Now before, if we were to go and do this, we could have sacrificed the mother of the child in order to save the kid, sending somebody into the Fade to kill the demon. But, um, that would mean that would have killed the mother, and I've done that a couple of times. I also could have just killed the kid physically, and that would have killed the demon as well. Um, another thing I've done before, but maybe not the best option. <laughs> and here I am, I'm back here now. I have another option. I got the mage's help, and we have... Oh. Damn, game crashed. But here we are. The mages wait to perform the ritual. I do hope I told this you is the only thing I can think of. Ah, there you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. So, only one person can go through. Yes. We haven't sufficient Lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. Are you sure this is the only way? It only works because the child gave himself to the demon willingly. If the demon takes over the host forcibly, we must slay the abomination. We have only enough lyrium for one attempt. I hope you succeed. Such a young lad deserves better than execution. Do you have any last minute advice? It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Well, let's do this now. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? And here's a problem. If I send Morgan in, she'll get pissed off. Uh, Wynn would go. But I'm going to send Jowin in. He's the guy that got everybody into this, and he's the one that's going to get them out. What? Me? Are you sure? Loose a blood mage into the Fade to meet a demon. What if he takes control of it? Can he do that? I've never done it. I wouldn't even know how. So you claim. We have no idea how far Jowen's abilities have progressed. Or that we can even trust him. This is Jowen's chance to redeem himself. You trust too much and too quickly. But I shall do as you ask. I'll do my best. I promise. Okay, we have... We're in control of Jowen here. Now, Jowen would have been a companion in the Mage's origin. So it wouldn't be the first time we play to him, or at least it's not the first time it's possible to play as him. You there? Have you seen my son? I can, I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Try to get through to the Earl. Uh, Al Eamon, do you remember me? You traitor! I guess you do. Stay away from my son! Stay away! Connor, we must flee! Where, where are you? Yeah, that worked out. Curse this blasted darkness! Why can I see? Just run into the fade, because, you know, we haven't had enough of that yet. Oh, jeez. I mean, of all the... I mean, this game was... Oh, here he is. Who are you? Are you the one that made father? Tell me now. Where... So, seen any demons around lately? Fool! You won't get near. I won't let you. Well, 
Time for a killing. Oh yeah, it's not a powerful one. Die, damn it. Okay, it's gone. It's not dead, but it's gone. Yeah, this is definitely one of the weak points of this game is, I mean, well, they, it is a good game, I say, but it's not a flawless one. There are a number of things. For, for example, the console versions of the game have some serious issues. You. The, You're the one making father sick. Yeah. I'll help him. Ah, demon again. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Trespasser! I will drive you out! Get out of here! <laughs> For example, the PlayStation version suffers from some rather significant slowdown. And especially during the later parts of the game where you have large conflicts, lots of dark spawn, lots of soldiers fighting it out. The get out of here. You have to get out. The um, Xbox I'll 360 version I've seen has like uh, the textures and all that kind of stuff for everything is rather ugly. The game doesn't look very good by comparison. But it does run a little smoother. The PC version, of course, has the best of both worlds, provided you have a PC powerful enough to run it. But it's also buggy as all hell. This thing's crashed so many times on me. Father Wonders seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Everything ends. They'll never let you get away with this. Connor invited her to come. And they struck a bargain. She has every right to do as she wishes. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Hmm, they just keep ganging up. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. Okay, there we go. This had to be more intelligent than using my abilities, rather than just attacking directly. Who stacks chairs like that? That's ridiculous. Spent, but overall, a big problem with the game was you spent way too much time running around in the fade. It's boring. It's irritating. It looks stupid. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I've been given a chance to do something good for a change. I'm not going to throw it away. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Time to kill. Now, she's not just like a white enemy, she's yellow now. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But, uh, there's only one there instead of multiple demons. Oh, shit. Okay, there's only one real one, I guess. The only one that doesn't have a weird glow shader attached to it. Demon's dead. And there we go. The hell?
So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. You trusted him and he saved Connor's life. I am unsure of what to make of that. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Why do you want my opinion? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. I don't think that's your decision to make. What do you mean? He is responsible for many of the problems here, and is a Maleficar as well. Exactly. He's the Circle of Magi's responsibility. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Isn't there some other way to heal him? What about magic? It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, the relic is another option. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneran, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genetivi. In desperation, I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. I'll see if I can find this relic. No one else can. Even if I wished to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. And we have saved the kid, we've saved the mother, and... Well, there's one other thing I want to do before I end the episode. I'm going to go back to town. Down on the main floor of Eamon's castle, find Alistair's mother's amulet. Damn it, I can't take it. Giving this to Alistair real quick. a special item that we can only give the Alistair to gift. This, this is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? I found it in Redcliffe Castle, in the study. Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Maybe he meant to give it back to you. Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. Let's not make more out of this than it is. Right. Let's go then. And thanks again. Okay, we got seven approval from Alistair with that. Probably could have gotten more if I wasn't such a dick. His approval rating is probably the highest out of any of our group here. 31. Warm. And there's one more thing that I wanted to do. This came out of nowhere. Sire, I have more news. 
Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for the now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Of course, he did kill King Kalen, not directly, in some matter of fact, but he abandoned him in the middle of a battle and was allowing King Kalen to be killed because he figured Kalen was an idiot who was going to destroy the destroy Ferelden. And what he, uh, what I think he specifically feared was King Kalen bringing in Orle, Orlean soldiers in to help fight the Blight, something that he didn't think was actually happening. He didn't think this was an actual Blight, we know better. But he wanted to bring soldiers from Orle in to come and fight them. Now, back before Kalen was was king, there was a war between Ferelden and Orle, and Orle had basically had a hundred year long occupation of Ferelden, and that, uh, obviously, that ruffled a few feathers. And it must really piss off people like Loghain and some of the older soldiers and all that, the very idea that Orle could come in and have any influence on them anymore after the war that they had fought for independence. As you say. Okay, I rescued this girl when we were running through the, the castle, and she made it out alive, apparently. Thank you, kind sir. I'd never have been able to return to my father if it wasn't for you. My Belena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you. I'm glad to help. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Shielded Dwarven Armor, it's steel. I have no desire to be using steel medium armor.